Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be talking about decisions of firms. If after watching this video you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the Total Review Booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into the content. Now the decision that we're going to talk about first is the firm's decision as to whether or not they are going to shut down or operate in the short run. And in regards to that decision, we need to remember two different types of costs. The first type of cost is fixed costs. Fixed costs still have to be paid even if the producer isn't producing any output. Fixed costs are also called sunk costs because they are sunk, done, and over with and have nothing to do with the decision at hand as to whether or not this firm produces or shuts down in the short run. The other type of cost we have is variable costs. Variable costs are going to increase as the quantity produced also increases. When a firm is producing zero units of output, the variable cost of production will be zero as well. And so if a firm chooses to shut down in the short run, their variable costs will be zero and fixed costs will be all they have to pay. So if a firm chooses to shut down in the short run, the firm's losses will be equal to their fixed costs of production. But if a firm chooses to operate while suffering an economic loss, their loss will be equal to their total revenue minus their variable costs plus fixed costs. Now, when I talk about shutting down, I'm not talking about the firm exiting the market and closing down permanently. In microeconomics, when we say shut down, we are talking about a temporary closing of the business. Any business that isn't open 24 hours a day will find themselves shut down at some hours. Now, if on the other hand, a firm exits the market, they are going to be permanently closed. They aren't going to be producing any output in the short run or the long run. They have exited the market. And so a firm will go ahead and operate even while suffering economic losses if their losses are less than their fixed costs. Losses will be less than fixed costs if their total revenue is greater than their variable cost, which also means that the price will be greater than the average variable cost or the average revenue will be greater than the average variable cost. If any of these things are true, the firm will be losing less money if it continues to operate even while earning economic losses. Now we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like on the graph. Here we have a marginal cost curve, average total cost curve, average variable cost curve, and the demand curve, which is the marginal revenue curve for a perfectly competitive firm within a market. The price for that perfectly elastic demand curve is the equilibrium price from the overall market for this product. And at that equilibrium price, there is our MR equals MC quantity labeled QF. That's the profit maximizing quantity for this firm. And at that profit maximizing quantity, that rectangle right there is the economic loss this firm would face if they shut down because fixed costs have to be paid even if the firm produces zero units of output. But if this firm chooses to operate, since the price is above the average variable cost, these economic losses will be smaller if the firm chooses to operate in the short run. And that rectangle right there is the amount of economic loss this firm would face while operating. And that's a smaller rectangle than the fixed cost we saw a moment ago. And so this firm would choose to operate because the losses are less than the fixed cost. Also on this graph, we can see our total variable costs in that rectangle right there. And the total revenue is that rectangle there. Since the total revenue is greater than the variable cost, this firm loses less by operating. Also on this graph, we see that the price is right there at the profit maximizing quantity. The average variable cost is right there at the profit maximizing quantity. And that means that the price is greater than the average variable cost. And that equilibrium price from the market is the firm's average revenue as well. And since that average revenue is greater than the average variable cost, this firm loses less by operating in the short run. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at some numbers to see if we can determine if a firm should operate or not in the short run. Let's say a firm is able to sell their product at a price of $5. If the profit maximizing quantity is 50 units and the average fixed cost of those 50 units is $4 each, while the average variable cost is $3 each, we can use these numbers to determine that this firm should operate. That's because the price or average revenue is greater than the average variable cost. If we multiply things out, we can find that the total revenue is $250 for this firm. The fixed cost is $4 times the 50 units, which is $200. The variable cost is the average variable of $3 times the 50 units produced, which is $150. And that means this firm will lose $100 by choosing to operate. Since this firm's total revenue is greater than the variable cost, that means that the losses are going to be less than the fixed cost. 
And so those are all the reasons why this firm should continue to operate despite the fact that they're suffering economic losses. If the price of this product falls down to $2, we can check those numbers once again. Our total revenue is now $100 and the economic loss will be $250. Now this firm should actually shut down in the short run. And that's because the price and average revenue is less than the average variable cost, the total revenue is less than the total variable cost, and the economic losses are actually greater than the fixed cost. So this firm will actually lose less money by shutting down. And once again, this isn't a permanent shutdown. This firm is just going to close their business until they can have more customers and bring in enough revenue to at least cover their variable costs. Now that we know about the conditions when a firm should shut down in the short run versus operate with an economic loss, let's see if we can figure out where the firm's supply curve is. Here we have another graph for a firm's cost curves. And let's say we have a high price at PE set by the market. At that high price, we're going to have this MR equals MC quantity labeled QF. And here we are going to see economic profit found in that rectangle there for this firm. Since this firm would definitely choose to produce this quantity of output at this particular price, let's go ahead and put a point right there showing that this is a point on the firm's supply curve because it shows us a quantity this firm would be willing to produce at a particular price. Now, if the price in the market falls all the way down to the minimum of the average total cost curve, now this firm has a new profit maximizing quantity and this firm is breaking even. If this firm chooses to shut down, they will have these fixed costs of economic loss. But if this firm chooses to operate, they have no economic loss and they earn a normal profit or break even. So when we have this price, the firm will choose to operate and produce that quantity of output. So let's go ahead and put another point here as this is another point on this firm's supply curve. It's another quantity of output that they would produce for a particular price. If the price falls even further, now we have a new lower profit maximizing quantity. And at this quantity, the firm is now suffering economic losses. And those losses are found in that rectangle there. If this firm chooses to shut down, they will have this rectangle of economic loss, which is their fixed cost. And since the fixed costs are greater than their economic loss while producing QF, this firm will produce that quantity of output at the price of PE. And that's why it's another point on this firm's supply curve. Finally, if the price falls down to the minimum of the average variable cost curve, now this firm's economic losses while operating equal the economic losses while shutting down. And that point right there is often referred to as the shutdown point. Because if the price falls lower than the shutdown point, now at the new profit maximizing quantity, the economic losses this firm faces while choosing to operate will actually be greater than the economic losses it faces if it chooses to shut down. And so this point would not be on the firm's supply curve because this firm would choose to shut down if the equilibrium price was this low. Now, if we connect these four points along the marginal cost curve for this firm, that gives us the supply curve for this firm. The firm's supply curve is the marginal cost curve above the minimum of the average variable cost curve. Finally, we're going to talk about long run decisions for a firm. When firms earn economic losses in the short run, they may continue to operate or temporarily shut down. But if firms are going to earn economic losses in the long run, they will eventually exit the market. When barriers to entry are low in a market like they are for perfect competition or monopolistic competition, which you'll learn about in unit four, then when we see profits in the short run, entrepreneurs that have the expertise needed to compete in that market are going to enter the market and are going to produce a competing product. When firms enter the market, that's going to cause the supply curve in the market to shift to the right, and then the equilibrium price within the market is going to fall. And that will eliminate the short run profits for the firms that were already in the market. And so low barriers to entry within a market means that firms are going to break even in the long run. If on the other hand, firms are earning short run economic losses, then some of the firms are going to exit the market. Exiting the market here means that they are shutting down permanently and using their resources where they will be more profitable. As those firms exit the market, the supply in the market is going to shift to the left. And that leftward shift of the supply causes the equilibrium price within the market to rise. And as a result, firms that remained in the market will break even in the long run. And there you have it. That is what you need to know about firm decisions in the long run and the short run. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.